What's up, what's up, what's going on, man? It's Bezo Bezo 803 on that social media. You now tune in to Big Motion Podcast. We got another exclusive, super, super, super exclusive interview. What's going down, man? Who do we have in the building today? Caroline Concealment, man, Sam Summers. Oh, yeah, man. The man, the myth, the legend, man. Carolina Concealment, Sam Summers. How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. Good. Definitely glad you're in the building finally, man. The, the good brother been doing a lot of great work in the community for a while, man. Um, talk about, you know, what it is that you actually do for the people that may not know. Um, Just like you, I was trying to explain to somebody who I was coming to see today, and I was like, <laughs> man, he wears so many hats. Oh, yeah. So many oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? oh, yeah. I was like, man, but well, oh, he yeah. does this and does this and does that. You know? So yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's be like. It's like... Mm -hmm. uh, Reverend Doctor, right, right. <laughs> all like, over. You don't know what's come first. But. Like octopus, man. We got a yeah, hand man. everything. You know, trying to man. Got um, to man. Uh, I was. Let's I'm start. Answer, Let's... I answered the question, and it made me think about the interview that uh, Soldier Boy had when they asked him, "Why do you have so many businesses?" Oh, he, he right, said, right. He said, right. "Why don't you have so many?" Exactly, man. You know, um, you we don't want to, you know, box yourself in and stay in one lane. But um, never, never. What never. I've been. Um, into lately is uh i've been first my primary i guess you say um uh, source of income uh comes from uh i work for the government okay and, okay um, okay i work for the department of veteran affairs oh, okay and uh and then i've been doing that and of course my passion i think everybody's passion should uh bring them profit yeah. so my passion is guns and um mm. I've been do handling and uh, working with guns, that, of course, since yeah. the military, I'm a military veteran. Uh, but as a business, uh, about going on 12, 13 years as a business. Okay. And um, what I do is that's Carolina Concealment. And uh, that's, we do CWP, a concealed weapon permits. Okay. Teach people how to shoot and handle guns safely. Right, right. Um, you know, that's something that, is the driving force behind everything else. Right, uh, right, right, right. Those things, um, that's the, the foundation for everything. Gotcha, um, gotcha. And so beyond that, I have a nonprofit called MADE, Making a Difference Everywhere. Okay. We do stuff out in the community. Okay, You know, okay. do uh, back to school drives. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. Do, um, you know, helping the less fortunate. Gotcha. Um, you got to have that there. Yeah, and sometimes we help the fortunate too because mm. sometimes they need help, need their hands on deck. You know, sometimes mm. we step in and, uh, either we host or um, we venture with other okay. uh, other organizations to do projects. And like, you got to get together you know? and do something, man. Definitely, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. That's yeah. dope, man. You got a hell of a list there, man. Yeah, it's a couple of things I can yeah. remember yeah, right yeah, off man. topic. You know, that's those big, of man. That's big. That's big. That's yeah. big. I love um, it, man. Something, you know, everybody should have something that's going to feed their yeah. pockets and feed your soul. And yeah. uh, one feed, helping people feeds my soul. Okay. You know, doing yeah. stuff for people that can't pay you back, you know, yeah. um yeah. it could easily be us. So Definitely, definitely, um, definitely. Man. I try to put that good karma out there. Definitely, happens, man. That's know. necessary. How long you been in the, uh, was in the military? I did 15 years then I got out. Okay. Um we got to big that up, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate Thanks it. for your service. Appreciate it. We appreciate anybody who, you know, takes on that in life, man. We definitely appreciate the service, man. Definitely, definitely. So, uh, I mean, you're doing so much great things in the community. Uh, like you said with a nonprofit, CWP, you know, Talk about how important is it for people to have a CWP and know how to handle a gun. Right. So um, I suggest everybody, if you can, legally um, have a firearm, first yeah. of all. But the most important part is uh, education, knowing how to use it properly, yeah. knowing right. how to handle it properly. Because most, of, a lot of, I won't say most, but a lot of it, I act uh, our death by guns or by accidents. Mm. Uh, people mishandling guns, kids getting in their hands on guns, people yeah. unauthorized people, people that may be under influence or yeah, medical, right. you know, issues, and they get a gun and looking down the barrel of it. So many things happen, and yeah. I think people just need to be education is the right. foundation for that. And um, you know, having a CWP is some not something for clout. Because mm -hmm. people get a gun and then they want to immediately show it off. Mm -hmm. They get a gun and then they want to immediately poke their chest out <laughs> yeah. and think that they're yeah. you know invincible. Right. That's not. That's not the. It's for safety, man. Exactly. Um, I think that uh, having it and knowing how to use it 
just like any other tool that you have in your mm. in your house. You know, Flip a drill, yeah. even when a fork and anything. Yeah, it just yeah. it, you didn't a knife. You know, just know how to use it properly. Yeah. And and I named those things because all those could be a weapon. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, some people understand that, um, especially when it comes to kids mm-hmm. handling uh, firearms, because we do uh, teach the youth, and That's we want to bring some reality. Understand that. It's not like a cartoon. They mm-hmm. you, know, you shoot somebody and water just comes out. Yeah. And so we want to make get, bring a reality into it and let them understand that uh, that's a great responsibility, especially yeah, for man. the parents. You definitely, know. Definitely, definitely. Um, so I think everybody should have it. Um, and about every year in South Carolina, about thirty, uh, thirty thousand to fifty thousand applicants apply for mm. this CWP. Wow. Yeah. So um, and uh, and since I want to say since uh, the um, I want to say since 2000 and uh, I want to say 14, the numbers have risen, especially in the urban uh, community, mm. the uh, the uh, black and brown community. The yeah. uh, the, the the need and uh, rise for uh, CDPs have uh, risen yeah. in, in applicant status, That's and dope, um, so more people are getting trained, more people are preparing for war, more people are defending themselves because, yeah. uh, especially with. Uh, education decreasing, most yeah. time crime increases, yeah, and so that's yeah, one of yeah. the reasons why more people are getting trained. Um, and there's no way where safe that you can go. At, at one point, we had rules. Mm-hmm. If you wasn't under a certain type of lifestyle, mm-hmm. okay, no shooting on church grounds, no shooting, yeah. shooting on Sundays, no. If somebody's with yeah. the family, they lived, yeah. you know, we give them a, a pass and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And but now it's just shoot anywhere, yeah. you know, movies, oh, yeah. churches, malls, oh, yeah. anywhere, you know. They're, you know, they're hurting people. So the need for for training, uh, most states that are what we call gun states has less crime. So mm-hmm. where a place where there's less guns uh, is more crime because people people expect people not to have guns. Well, mm. Versus the places where guns are um, um, like a gun state mm-hmm. where people normally carry, there's less right. crime because people expect the person to have a gun. Right, 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 right. right. Makes yeah. sense, man. Yeah. And that's big what you're doing, man. And uh, I, I do see an influx in, you know, black and brown people, you know, getting equipped. Um, I'm seeing more instructors come about. Cause one, I remember one time, man, it was always like one or two. You couldn't find the instructor. <laughs> like, you know, CWP instructor. <laughs> it's like, when I, you know, when I, I got one a long time ago, you know, second time through you. But the first time, uh, it was a white guy that, you know, trained me or whatever. And I had to look high and low for him. He wasn't yeah. part of my... My network, right. you know, so that's big, man. So do, do you do, like, training beyond uh, CWP? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about that. Um, We, we do advanced training. Mm. You know, when we say advanced training, we have advanced training, then we have tactical training. Ah. Those kind of two some, somewhat different levels. Okay. But advanced training is, is beyond basic training, which mm. is what's – CWP is basic. Yeah, okay. Um, showing you how to safely handle the yeah, gun. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then advanced training is – Okay, doing stuff a little faster. Mm. Um, we bring in some different type of things because for most CWP classes, you'll see people standing straight, shooting at a target. And yeah. it, it, the yeah. target doesn't move. Yeah. The person doesn't move. Yeah. Yeah. It's just they're pulling the gun out and shooting. And most times you can't even do that at a, you can't yeah. even pull your gun out um, at a public range. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can only just have it already out in a case on the table when you present it from there. Right, right, and right. And so uh and then you have tactical training where you can mm. shoot, move and communicate. Mm. Meaning that sounds if, like I, fun. If, I, if I'm moving with somebody, <laughs> I'm shooting with somebody, I'm communicating to somebody, yeah. telling them what I'm doing. Yeah. And um I'm shooting while I'm moving. Um mm. and some of those some so that's the training that I think most people need because yeah. That brings some reality to yeah, the situation yeah, yeah. where real time, yeah, because the range doesn't give you that reality of, yeah. and, and don't give you the uh, the, the, the right tempo and yeah. the right atmosphere and the light right energy of mm. what you're gonna be, how it's gonna be for real, yeah, you know, and that tactical training does that because you're not gonna be perfectly standing still, and while the person, the target standing still, the person gonna be moving, you you're gonna be moving, you're gonna be falling, you're gonna be sitting in a chair, mm-hmm. you're gonna be at an ATM, you're gonna be in, in your house, in mm-hmm. the kitchen cooking, and the gun is go- not gonna be, n- most likely not near you, because most time people come home to put their gun up, mm-hmm. and they not think, they think the house is a safe place, mm-hmm. so they, they don't really, um, once they get in the house, somewhat their guard goes down, yeah. I'm in the house, now I'm safe, yeah. you know, and um, they get that false sense of security, mm-hmm. you know, because they're in the house, and but I tell people if they're coming, they're coming. 
Yeah. You know, and uh, you cannot yeah. um, Definitely. just have a gun and think that now I got the gun and I'm safe. No, you got to go beyond that. Yeah. Um, there's so many other tools out there besides the gun that you need. And I tell mm. people that's maybe inexperienced and they're trying to get their first gun. Uh, there's other things that you may need to get besides mm. just gun training. Yeah. Uh, there's medical training. There's, ah, um, okay. you know, if you if you shoot somebody, even if by accident, how do yeah. you how do you stop the bleed? Yeah, yeah, you know that yeah. type of thing. You know, right, applying right. a tourniquet to your, your child that accidentally you know shot themselves or something like that or the yeah. neighbor. Um, so a lot of responsibility comes with a gun. People think you just pick a gun up and pull the trigger, and all guns are not made equal. Yeah, 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 man, yeah. that's dope, man. You know, everything is uh more than it appears on the surface. So oh, yeah. that's why I want to get you on the show today because you see it all the time for holidays, and I and I trust me, I love my ladies. But I, I want to ask about something now yeah. that I got you here. Yeah. It seems like all the ladies want to get a nice, colorful gun. <laughs> Why is that? You know, um, you know. <sighs> we love y'all ladies. We, we say it nicely. We, we just talk. But sometimes, we, sometimes women yeah. just like shiny things. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, it's not the t- TV, movies, music videos have uh, mm. projected that. Uh, ideology and some women follow it. Yeah. Uh, if it's pretty and shiny, I want I want to buy it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. well he has a nice car. Yeah, he has yeah. a you know a lot of jewelry. I want yeah, that. You yeah, know, yeah. Um, and sometimes that's not the best thing. You know, mm, um, and yeah. some and, and I understand you want to get a gun to yeah. match their shoes. <laughs> want to get a gun to match their yeah. new outfit and stuff like that or their favorite color. Yeah. Um, but it's not practical right. because um, right. there's some good guns that have color on it, but that's mm-hmm. a marketing scheme. That's yeah, a yeah. that's a gimmick to get you to buy the gun. Sometimes mm-hmm. they use that. It's like a, a lemon having mm. a great paint job. Mm. Like you buy a car yeah, that yeah, has yeah, no yeah, good engine, yeah, but yeah. it was oh, shiny. Let me get that. Yeah. And uh, so some of these guns, um, they have a they have a history. Data mm. shows that some of these guns are not the best guns. So mm. you need to do your research before you buy it. Come to a class, any class. Go with your uncle, dad, or somebody who maybe have some guns and try some guns out and yeah. then find out the difference between the guns right. and see what fits you because guns are very personal. Mm. Guns are very personal. I shouldn't be telling somebody, mm. yeah, that's the gun for you. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I don't know. I don't know the shape of your hand. I don't know what, what hand issues yeah. you may have, yeah. shoulder issues, back, whatever, with the yeah. recoil um, and all those things, arthritis and tendon and yeah. all those things, guns are very personal. So you need to find something that mm. works for you. So don't, you could take some guidance from the guy behind the counter, but he's trying to make a sale. So it's all business oh, yeah, for him. Oh, yeah, it's, oh, not, yeah. it's not, I'm not trying to take care of you. I'm just trying to make a sale. Exactly. Just like when a, a woman goes get a car, her mm-hmm. oil change, and come out and say, oh, you need an air filter, you need a new motor, you need <laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah. They're trying to make a sale. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, but you need to stand your ground, um, uh, do your due diligence on trying to find out what yeah. gun works for you because uh, at the end of the day, uh, it could be your lifeline. Definitely, definitely. Your lifeline. Definitely, and you actually do, you know, just to pivot into that, you actually do like consultations where you 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 know talk to a person to see you know what would be the best fit for them and walk them into a place or online and get them to pick out what, what they would like. Yes, we just I, yeah. I'm just leaving a place just yeah. now, uh, Strong Arms in Sumter, and I got a client that was over there and she's she was buying a gun. Uh, but we started from the, the whole process of mm-hmm. what issues do you have? Yeah. What's the purpose of, of this gun? What yeah. how would it be, be primarily yeah. used? Oh. And then. We went in the store and we tried out a few mm. firearms, let her hold them, let her manipulate the gun, put the slide back, see how she put the mm. magazine in, mm-hmm. how does it fit in your hand, how does the sights look, yeah. how is it comfortable? Because if we do anything, wear, buy anything, we want to drive, if it's not comfortable, we're not going to use it. Right. You know? yeah. um, so you want to be satisfied. Same way if yeah. you uh, pull out your cell phone and it's a flip phone, you, you want to try to tuck it in and try to check it because you don't mm. want to say, man, I'm not comfortable with this phone. I don't want, I'm, I'm embarrassed by it. Yeah, and same yeah, thing yeah. with guns. You want to be yeah. proud of your, your yeah. gun. You know, some people Definitely. name their guns and stuff like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, but we go through the whole yeah, process. I go, I go through the whole process with you to understand because there's some, sometimes there's some trauma behind this purchase. Yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah. there's some deeper things I need to find out. Are you battling something? You have some issues going on. Mm. What's, what, what now at, 30 something years old when you haven't had a gun your whole life. Why mm-hmm. now? Mm-hmm. Um, and find out if there's some other issues going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, it may be that you moved and now you now stay alone mm-hmm. on the woods somewhere, uh, you know, in the country, you need some, you know, you travel late at night and uh, it's cause so many things can happen, you know, yeah. car breaking down and people look at that as opportunists to try to mm-hmm. hurt you, mm-hmm. you know? So, um, so we find out all those things and then yes, we, we walk you through, 
the yeah. whole buying process. I stay with you till you sign man, that's dope, man. and walk out the door with the gun. It, I don't know. They, they might not like when you walk in the spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> because I'm not going to let you up. I, I, I have to, sometimes the people behind the counter can try to try to overtake your client yeah, and customer. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, I got it. Yeah. I got it. I got it from here. Yeah, you know? yeah. I got it. You know, it's a lot of times. So we with a, um, with a client, I, I kind of we go through all the things and we kind of get an idea because that mm-hmm. most likely whatever is in the gun store I probably have personally myself already. Yeah, yeah. So they can come with me and we can try the guns out yeah. and then go in the store and try to purchase. So we so mm. we do half of the um research before we get into the yeah. gun store. And then when we get in the gun store, we're just seeing cuz there's just like guns, just like cell phones, guns have different generations. They mm. might have a generation, you know, mm-hmm. uh series 1 or 2 yeah. and you might be on the second one. And um and so we it might have some new Things that on the gun that could possibly be useful and sometimes could be gimmicky. Yeah, it yeah. could just have extra lines on the front of the yeah, slide. Yeah, yeah. And people are like, oh, I want that. This is a better gun. When they didn't change anything but make those external yeah, markings right, on the right, gun and right, you think right. that you're getting a better gun wow. uh, for $200 more. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's crazy, It's man. just like, you know, like I said, just like iPhones and stuff, they go 13, 14, you know, yeah. 12, 13, 14, mm-hmm. and much just hasn't changed, but, you know. And exactly. people, but at, to the naked eye, they can't tell. Exactly, and so man. I posted guns to my some of my female friends and some male friends, and they were like, "That's the same gun," and yeah. they, they can't tell. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah, that's crazy, man. It's, it's 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 great that you go above and beyond and offer those additional services because uh, I just feel like we we got to be as educated as possible and like you said, comfortable with you know with the weapon as well. So that that's big, but I don't I don't know that a lot of other instructors are even offering that. So. That's, no, that's, that's innovative. Well, the thing is, because I'm not chasing money, I'm chasing relationships. Mm. You know, because just like the, the student I just, the client I just had now, she's a student mm. in my last class, mm. but she's already, uh, one thing, she's already supported a fundraiser that I got going on, mm. and she's already already scheduled to mm. uh, meet with me again to shoot those firearms mm. that she just got today. So gotcha. it's a... Uh, uh, not a one-time interaction with yeah, the person yeah, that I'm yeah, dealing okay, with. Okay. I tried to yeah, build a relationship, yeah, yeah. and I don't want to feel like that I'm just to take your money and then mm-hmm. throw you away to the wolves. Yeah, so yeah, like every, that, every part of your, your journey, I want to be there with you. Right. Right? So if I'm your instructor today, I'm your instructor mm-hmm. tomorrow and so forth. That's on. dope, man. Yeah. That's dope, man. Let's talk about the Juju range, man. Oh, yeah, man. It's, 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 man, listen. Y'all got to understand we got something big coming. It's already in motion. I'm gonna let the brother talk about it. It's it's it's, it's very very very. It's a, it's a, it's going to be a necessity for our community. So I'm gonna let him. He's gonna tell you more about it. It's the CEO. It's a big dog right here. All right. So Juju Range. Um, let's get. It's a, a range that's named uh, after my mom. My mom name is Julia. Mm-hmm. People call her Juju for short. Mm-hmm. She's now deceased, right? So, but what? Why do we have this range? Why? Is it here? Why are we bringing it here? Um, well, as an instructor, one of the things for any instructor or uh, gun enthusiast is trying to find a place to shoot, mm. right? And find a place to shoot that's safe, that don't make don't alienate you, make you feel like you don't belong, right? Mm-hmm. So Juju Range, um, I've been, uh, it came about because I've been one of those places uh, instructors and shooters that always are trying to find a place to shoot, mm. trying to find a safe place where I can hold my classes. And, uh, and there's some, some places to uh, hold your classes publicly, mm. but with those public places, they're, they're usually overcrowded. Mm. You know, there's a lot of people, other instructors there with their students and you're waiting. What I could be, I could be done in 30, 45 minutes is taking down two or three hours because mm. I only could get two lanes, right? Mm-hmm. So, because I got 10 to 15 students with me and they're waiting to shoot and between reloading, fixing, uh, correcting the shooting, it's, it's a long process. So, um, I, I sought out to find my own piece of heaven to, mm. uh, for me primarily, but for other instructors too. Yeah, yeah. So, a place where we can go and shoot uh, other people, law enforcement, uh, anybody just want to just train uh, outside of being a crowded space. Because one thing I know uh, with Juju Range, what, what's the difference, you know, mm. and what's going to be at my range versus other public ranges, right? Mm. Um, you'll be able to, again, shoot, move, and communicate. Mm. 
Mm. You'll be able to shoot from your holster. Mm. You'll be able to shoot from vehicles, mm. uh, mounted, dismounted, stuff like that. That's gonna be hard. Yeah. <laughs> so you, uh, we're going, we're bringing like axe throwing, archery. Cause everybody not into guns. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. Not yeah. Into yeah. Guns, That's gonna be you know? hard, man. So we want to bring something for everybody, you know. So we're yeah, gonna bring. Man. We're trying to build a multi-purpose yeah. uh, compound right. um, for people to use, and they can they'll be able to rent it just like an Airbnb, and yeah. um, and so. Uh, the range came out just a so, uh, out of us a, uh, a need of, um, and it'll be a recreational, be a, a somewhat private uh, thing. It won't be just a pull up and you know sign in thing. Yeah, yeah. You actually have to be a member, um, a okay. club member, and uh, we uh, it's going to be something different that I haven't seen. I've been a lot of gun ranges throughout the military and my personal time. Just traveling to ranges and I, and when I'm trying to build is something different and something new and yeah, man. Uh, I don't have a I don't have a blueprint. It's just me doing it on my own. So I'm excited, but yeah. I never I, I never heard of anything like it, man. Yeah, it's gonna be that, something. It's gonna be, gonna be it's gonna dope. be nice where you can just come out and just fellowship. You just, if, if the fellas say, "Hey, we want," you know, I'm gonna pull out the, the, the DJ equipment and we're gonna just go to uh, Juju Range and mm-hmm. have uh, fire pits and uh, gazebos yeah. and benches and all that stuff. We're bringing all of that. Yeah, so man. if you don't want to go shoot. Um, you can just hang out there too. So that's, that's gonna be hard, man. Yeah. Any timeline on where when things can kind of open up for that, or any any information on how people can stay updated or help out? Yeah. So you can. So first question to how to stay updated, uh, stay abroad of what's going on. I have on the website Carolina Concealment CWP. Okay. Um, is the website where I update people on everything. Okay. Of course, you can follow uh, Carolina Concealment on uh, Facebook. Um, we post up there and. Um, to if you want to support, uh, there's a donate button on Carolina Concealment CWP.com. Uh, you can donate there or you can cash app Carolina Concealment um, and support there. Um, definitely, definitely, man. Yeah, y'all heard all the plugs, and so make sure y'all stay updated and support the brother, man. He's bringing something great to the community. It's going to be an asset to the community we all can use and utilize for training, even for leisure. I mean, I can see so many things going down out there, family reunions. Um, other instructors doing their thing out there because I'm seeing an increase in instructors, especially black instructors. So I think it's going to be, I think it's, it's beautiful what you're doing, man. So just keep doing your work. Where, where can people find you on social media? Uh, you can find me at uh, Kellan Concealment on TikTok. And again, uh, Kellan Concealment on Facebook um, and the website, www.carolineconcealmentcwp.com. Gotcha. Um, and uh, you can, I'm usually pretty active on there um, okay. notifications I usually uh, respond pretty fast word word gotcha. uh, so those are the quickest way and if you need a call 229-200-3010 229-200-3010 do you got a class coming up yep. you- next class April 22nd is going to be held in Sumter uh, at the uh, Hampton Inn on Broad Street uh, okay. at the class time will be 830 to 230 mm-hmm. and I uh, hope to see y'all there man Come get trained. Hey, come get uh, trained, man. Yeah. Come get trained. You know what's going on. We have a lot of fun, man. We laugh in the classes. It's, yeah, uh, it's a family-oriented type yeah. of environment. Yeah. Uh, it's safe. Um, we we uh, try to be uh, respectful of people. I, I say people come and they have I have class, people that came to the class that have been shot you mm. know, by family members. Mm. People have seen and witnessed their family members get shot. So there's a lot of traumas in there. So, yeah. But we try, we, I try to make the class very fun yeah. so people can relax. Because they come in the class on edge thinking yeah, yeah. they're thinking they're at the range already. They're thinking yeah, the guns yeah, are going yeah, off yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, and they're, yeah. so, they're so tense and make, you know, yeah, shaking while they're writing and filling out the paperwork. I'm like, just relax. We're going to have fun. So it's we're, it's man, a family oriented place. When I, I'm going to give you a story real quick. When I got my, my first, you know, it was like maybe 10 years ago. And I went into the spot. It was a white instructor. He was pretty cool, though. And I was like the only black guy in there. When I walked in, I was like, dang. So he made us sign this thing. He was like, and it, it basically said, if anybody loses their shit, and he's not re- he's not responsible. Oh, yeah. I was like, dang. I got a wave. I got, I got, I got, a, I got that wave with two. And that person hurt you, and you hurt that person. I'm, I'm, hey, so wait, I'm out of it. You can't see me. I, 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 I mean, I was the only black guy there, so I'm like, oh, you yeah, yeah, like, like the, like the record stopped when I walked in the spot. And I was like, okay. But it went it went good, man. And once we got to talking, everybody was cool. 
But uh, so I can kind of relate to what you just said. That's why I brought that story up, man. Yeah, because you, you don't know what to expect. It's a, it's a it's a new it's a new environment that you're walking yep. into. Everybody's and scrapped like, though. You don't, you don't know the first step you're supposed to do. You know, yeah. and these people they feel like they come here all the time, and you feel like yeah. I'm the new guy. Yep. And I'm like, am I missing something? Did I bring all the equipment? Yep. So when I reach out to my students, or clients. Um, I tried to, it's a very detailed email on mm-hmm. what to bring, what not to bring, yeah. how to dress, prepare for the yeah. weather, um, these things I'll provide for you. Right. Even though I'm, and then some people may say you bring it, I have extra. So yeah. People, yeah. they forget yeah. certain things. So, they, you know, they're not scrambling for things. So definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely, man. Yeah. Um, Right now, man, and I know you probably, this is probably going to be a hard question for you. I don't know. What, what's the baddest gun, in, you know, out there right now, man, <laughs> in your opinion? Man, there's so many, man. Yeah. Because you got levels. You got you, yeah. know, you got your budget guns, yeah. and you got your. And I, let me ask you a question. This the, this is the answer. The baddest gun is the the gun you can use the best. Mm. Because no yeah. matter a a a, a, yeah. a, a ten thousand yeah. dollar bat won't fix your swing. Yeah, man. You know, so it, yeah. no matter what how expensive <laughs> the gun is, if I, if I yeah. can't use it, um, it's just a piece of metal. Yeah, you know? I ain't gonna lie. I like I like my little thirty eight, man. Yeah, like that's my, I carry that everywhere. Yeah, I, and I got other guns, but I hardly touch them. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and if you're not going, to, I need to, but I don't. Yeah, so, um, I have some, I have some that I rotate in yeah. my uh, uh, concealed carry. Okay. Um, I got the, the Sig uh, Sour um, mm. P320. I carry that a lot. Mm. I carry yeah. my. Uh, Gen 4 Glock 19. Mm. Um, and then sometimes yeah. I go to my um, Smith & Wesson Shield. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So okay. they're somewhat compact, you know, yeah. mid-sized guns. And, um, you know, I practice with those the most, too, because I carry them the most. So right, some right. I can, I can kind of use them. All right, man. Just, we just chopping right now, man. All right. You know, what's what's why do people, I mean, you see it all the time. Like I said, yeah. Christmas come around, birthday come around. Why do people still buy high point guns? <laughs> <laughs> and they and they post it like yeah go my first yeah time. um you know I, I try I, I try what I try to I tried not to gun shame people yeah but that not it does no but I just don't do it yeah. but the 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 thing is they just that it's not educated yeah. to know that it's yeah. a bad gun but that's the yeah. part of or the reason why I feel like they should come to the class first because yeah, the sir. person behind the gun you know. Our people, we always trying to get a deal, <laughs> and and the high point is very cheap, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and with the other question you asked me about the colors of the gun and stuff yeah. like that, um, it's somewhat uh, uh, wrong for the people to sell. If people behind the counter and that's uh, trying to make a sale, mm-hmm. sometimes they mostly sell those to um, people of color. Yeah, yeah, and somewhat. That's a reflection of how they think of you. Yeah, cheap. Yeah, yeah. you know, because I'm pretty sure uh, some other maybe associates that they would probably not recommend those guns to. Definitely. And definitely, but they'll certainly. quickly say, "My so and so carries this gun when they, right. they carry a nicer yeah. gun." But they're just trying to make a sale, so they'll sell you something cheap. Y'all hear that? Because they think you're in the colors. They think stay away yeah. from those high points. Stay away from the high points. Don't see my brother right here. He's gonna show you. You know, he's gonna guide you and show you what you need to do. Man. Please do it. Just uh, yeah, now man. and it, it hit and miss. Sometimes I've had uh, people bring them to the class and mm-hmm. they've worked. Yeah. And I had some that they didn't yeah. work at all, at all, like at all. Like, wow. I have other guns too. Uh, I want to bad mouth any uh, all the brands, but uh, we'll talk about it in private. But y'all. Please just don't go buy a gun because it's pretty. Yeah. You know, um, come to me, ask me questions. If you're in a store and you're about to buy a gun, um, just hit me up and say, hey, man, I'm, what you think about this gun? Mm-hmm. And I won't give you, I won't tell you uh, to not get a gun just because of of my opinion of it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you that because of the fact of it. Yeah. Meaning that um, not just a theory, it's mm-hmm. just because I've seen the gun mm-hmm. malfunction. I've seen the gun yeah. uh, break in person yeah. I've seen the gun hurt people mm. and I'm, I'm trying to help you by telling you not to get that gun so because sure, sure. some people are stuck to brands you know some be like oh I only uh, you know with just TVs like I only yeah. use Samsung TVs and I don't yeah, mess yeah. with LG yeah, I don't mess yeah, with yeah, LG. but yeah. that's they have no real reason why exactly you know and I'm not that way I got plenty of guns I got a lot of brands Yeah, and I just work use what works but some of these guns people are like well I have my gun for you know 
uh, three years and had no issues with it, but you mm -hmm. only shot it one or two times <laughs> at the range, yeah. you know, versus some of my guns. I shoot yeah. almost every week. I'll say every right. week. And it had no issue. So that's the, that's the difference of gotcha. you saying I got a good car, but you only drive the car from home to work right. versus me driving my car from here to California, mm. you know, and really testing it. What we call stress tests, like really testing the gun to the limits and like, yeah. damn, I, I can't get this gun to malfunction. Right, right, Versus right. some guns, you, like, you say you got a good gun, but you haven't tested how I tested mine. Exactly. You know, so you might say, how do you like, yeah, so some, they haven't been to war yet. And they, they mm. say, um, like somebody who's, uh, capable of doing something, but they haven't actually done it. You know, mm. they haven't done the work. Yeah. You know, so while I might want to drive my whatever car to California, I definitely know if I'm going to California, I, de I definitely know, yo, know, that Toyota Camry exactly. get me there, or that Honda Accord get me there. Exactly. And that's just some way I put guns in category. I was like, yo, this gun, this Glock 19, mm. it's not going to fail me. Mm. It's not going to fail me. No matter if it's dirty, yeah. you know, in water, or whatever, it's, it's going to work. And you want to make sure that your, your choice of gun you can depend on it. Yeah, you know? definitely, I mean, definitely. Unless yeah. you the high point, you're probably just going to end up throwing it at somebody. Yeah, man. Stay away from them <laughs> high points, man. It don't add it. So, so uh, you know, for people that's watching right now, how often would you recommend, you know, you go to the range and run, you know, rounds through your gun? If oh, great. I just bought a gun. How often do I need to be at that range? Great question. Because sometimes people buy a gun and it just starts to collect dust from, yeah. the, from day one. I got a few doing that now. Yeah, I got, I got, I got people that I went and purchased a gun, and they've been two years ago. And say I haven't, I haven't been to the range. I haven't shot that firearm mm -hmm. um, since we've been to the range, mm. and it's been two or three years. Wow, you know, and it's just sitting there, you yeah. know. Um, so uh, to answer your question, you should just like how you get a haircut, mm. how you schedule maintenance in your car. You have to schedule some range time. Mm. You need to be saying, "Hey, I haven't been to the range." In two or three months, it's time I, I schedule a couple hours to yeah. the range to go shoot somewhere and go yeah. practice because yeah. uh, that repetitiveness is going to help you be comfortable with shooting. Exactly. You know, it's going to help you uh, get better. But if you only shooting once every three, four years, mm -hmm. that's not doing yeah. anything for you at all. Exactly. At all, because exactly. if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah. So you got to schedule some time. I try to go shoot at least once a week. And mm, sometimes I like I, that because of the weather, maybe two or three weeks sometimes because yeah. of my schedule. But I try to go a couple times a month. I put it that. Gotcha, like that. Gotcha. But you you should I would say at least um, I, I took this from Michelle Obama, uh, this little thing that she does. So for Han Barack, she um, she says she schedules their vaca their vacation time, mm -hmm. their dinner dates and stuff like that before mm -hmm. anything else. And everything else on their calendar comes around that. Yeah. So I think people should. With self care, yeah. I think gun training is part of self care. Just like certainly, they get certainly. their hair and nails done, stuff like that. You need to put gun training range time on your calendar to say, "Yeah, I need to go to the range." It's been definitely, months, definitely. you know, and then schedule. If it's shoot, take a box or two, you know, of ammo. Shoot it. Take your time. Focus on what you're doing. Focus mm -hmm. on what you can remember. If you can get the truck to go with you. A friend, make it a and for for couples, make it a date night. Yeah. Um, girls, make it a girls date out thing. If you got your homegirls, fellas, you know, make it a you know guys, whatever. Just uh, incorporate that into your uh, self care calendar. That's a good idea, man. Y'all yeah. hear that? You know, because yeah. you want to be equipped. You don't want to, you know, something pop off. You mean you touch the gun in you fumbling three years. You, you got it. You, <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You fumbling yeah, with it, hey, trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, you yeah. you getting stuck. Certainly, and, man. Um, that's, that's, that's not gonna be good. No, I mean, you really yeah. you should take that serious. Um, besides everything else, which it, yeah. I mean, with health, you know. Um, how about um? Let me cut you up. How about um? You know, if I am going to the range frequently, how often should I get my firearm clean? Good question. So you should clean it, um, periodically. First of all, mm -hmm. it's been sitting for a while because that when okay. you clean it, you put oil on it. That's part of the process, that, and okay. like, that oil can evaporate. Uh, so after it's been fired, is that's the best time to clean it because that's the solvents and everything is on there. It's mm. kind of warm, it's kind of soft, mm. it's easy can wipe off, you know. Okay. And then, um, and anytime it, it's been exposed to dirt or moisture, if you've been out in, at yeah. the range and it started raining or something like that, or you dropped it, clean yeah. it. Yeah. You know, um, put in a good movie and take you know 30, 40 minutes of cleaning, or mm -hmm. bring it to me. I, I provide that service, hey. any service. Bring it to him. Um, bring it to me, and I, I'll clean it for you. Yeah. Um, we got a link on our on my website for That's cleaning. That's dope, man. You can do it all, man. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. if you you because you, some people you got a basic clean where you just clean yeah. wiping it down, right? Yeah, yeah. But if you don't, if you're not comfortable with taking the gun apart mm -hmm. and that type of thing, and know how to put it back together, yeah. don't do it because you might lose parts first yeah, of all. Yeah. And then now you have an unfunctional gun, and you mm -hmm. can't. Uh, 
you're not gonna get if you try to sell it, it's gonna be hard. So if you're not sure, just take it to a professional, mm-hmm. uh, a gunsmith or somebody like me that know how to take the gun apart and yeah. actually use the, use the right materials and, and uh, clean it. And um, but I'll if you have the time, I'll teach the person how to do it themselves, so you don't have to pay me. That's all the time. hard, man. You know See? what I'm saying? Because can't thing beat is, that. Yeah. So if you come to me and, and we can sit down and do it, yeah. I'll teach you how to do it, and that way you don't have to call me and pay me. It's something you could do on your own, and maybe you could yeah. teach your own village how to do it. You know, that's hard, you? man. That's yeah. hard, man. Yeah. Um, I got, a, I got a, you know, I guess I want to say tough question, but we, we, we yeah. here, we on, we, we on big motion podcast. Yeah. You're very knowledgeable, um, especially for our community, man. You know, you, you somebody we look to for this type of stuff. So just want to chop it up. How do you feel about you know a lot of gun violence that's been going on, and what do you think as a community? Um, just as America as a whole, you know, what, what can be done, you know, to move forward. A lot of people, they scared. They're going to try to take our guns. There's a lot of controversy going on right now. Yeah. Uh, this is so many big engines behind guns. There's so much money behind guns and mm-hmm. politics. A lot of those politics, um, you know, are involved in the, uh, business of guns. Mm. So I, f- I feel like it's too much money to lose for them to, um, to, uh, take the guns away. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I don't see that happening, but I do see a lot of restrictions coming down, maybe from the ATF and stuff like that. But they yeah. have handling that stuff in court now, where mm-hmm. the ATF uh, feel like they are um, part of the judicial system or executive making the executive decisions, and uh, mm-hmm. I, I don't we don't believe there are. <laughs> so, um, so we have people that's fighting on our yeah. behalf to keep yeah. our guns in our hands because uh, we need them, and uh, it's, it's uh, I, uh, unarmed country community whatever um i I think is unsafe too we Mm -hmm. need to be able to bear arms uh the problem fixing the problem with firearms is going to be again education because that's where it starts um you know for me i tell my friends i just try to stay out the way as 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 uh legally dangerous i am Mm -hmm. and uh i still i try to avoid Mm -hmm. drama yeah, you know, definitely. Um, some people go looking for it, you know, and I try to stay out the way. Mm-hmm. And that's my worst fear is like, man, I, I know what I'm capable of. Mm-hmm. I know how well I can utilize these firearms. I know how mm-hmm. um, I know the laws behind them, where I can and can't mm-hmm. carry. And um, and if I had to defend myself, right. uh, I got things in place to protect me mm-hmm. after the fact. Right. Yeah. And so some people, when I say education, let's go back to that. Uh, learning how to deal with emotions, mm-hmm. you know, mm. those are, that's the first emotional thing. intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think learning how to deal with our emotions, learning you know, learn how to swallow your pride and, and handle our egos because that's mm-hmm. mostly what happens. You know, uh, I grew up with my cousins, you know, mm-hmm. uh, tripping me up and pushing me down. It made me tough, so my skin is tough. So when somebody's talking crazy, mm-hmm. um, I could just brush it off, roll it off. But some people they're so easily charged, mm-hmm. you know, and um, upset. With uh, people, they feel like they get, as soon as they feel disrespected, it's it's kill them, kill them all, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And um, you gotta understand, sometimes you meet people in a bad time, bad space, and but it's so I'd rather be mad at home in my own my warm bed versus in jail. Yeah, you yeah. know, because people think I could just, I could just shoot you and I could be a witness because you because because you uh, are uh, disrespecting me, mm-hmm. and that's not enough. Mm-hmm. And now you don't shot somebody. You're probably in jail. They're going to take your gun. You got court fees, lawyer fees. Your anxiety is up because you know who's running by your house. You're thinking somebody's trying to um, come mm-hmm. and retaliate. Mm-hmm. Every time you look, somebody look at you a little bit too hard in the store, <laughs> oh, you feel yeah. like they, they're part of the enemy. Oh, yeah. So there's so much trauma that come with, yeah. you know, and anxiety that come with yeah, uh, using a firearm and just drama uh, yeah. in a hole. So I try to avoid it as, as much as possible. Uh, I know you got to be there because of business, but mm-hmm. I try to stay out the clubs, you know. Um, I try, I try, I try, try to, too, man. <laughs> I know. Give me a wedding in a minute. <laughs> right. Yeah, so I try to stay, stay away from places where um, alcohol is involved, mm-hmm. you know, possible drug use, stuff like that, where people are not thinking clearly, mm-hmm. you know, when the influence is there. Mm-hmm. So I try to avoid those those places, man, because uh, I, I, I sometimes I've seen people, good, good people, mm-hmm. good people make a quick so fast, a bad decision. Yeah. Like one, two, three seconds, man, and it, it changed their whole life. Mm. You know, it's like, dang it, I know you're not like that. Yeah. You know, and the alcohol, the music, and all the influences yeah. that are around you, you yeah. know, and it made you do something. Yeah. And now you've uh, basically, you know, destroyed your life. Yeah, man. And, you know, we see a lot of increase of the mass shootings and, you know, a lot of younger 
people, uh, you know, of a certain race, mostly. Mm-hmm. And and uh, so you know, a lot of people kind of like on edge about that. Just had they just had one here recently, man. So in just, Tennessee, right? Yeah, Tennessee, mm-hmm. man. So uh, you know, prayers de- to those families. Yeah, man. definitely prayers to those families out there, man. Anybody who lost somebody, but that's why we're here to educate. You know, to converse about it. And, you know, for anybody locally, man, if you have a child, you know, bring him to the brother right here, man. Show him. He'll he'll show them about a gun, the safeties of a gun, why we need a gun, what you're not supposed to do with a gun, all that stuff. And I think it's, it's very important um, that we do that. And just for anybody out there, man, you probably could agree, just make sure people are mentally sound yeah. before they just go get a gun or you gift them a gun, or, you know. So the first, before you come to me, I tell everybody, education starts at home. Mm-hmm. The parents, if you're not with a parent, your uncle, whoever, mm-hmm. your guardian is your first level of education. Yeah. Um, but beyond the education part, man, sometimes these kids just need some love, man. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes these kids don't get enough love mm-hmm. at home. Yeah. And um, they just need a hug sometimes, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and you, people that's, you know, just think, think about last time somebody, for the people that's looking and listening, um, Last time you had a real hug, you know mm. I mean? and one time, when the last time you really let out your emotions on somebody's shoulder, mm. um, and a lot of people don't have that, especially kids, man. They're trying, yeah. they're having identity issues. Yeah, uh, they mean they they having uh, issues with, uh, man. I don't have the coolest shoes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to school and people are talking about me, especially you know? with the social media. The stuff, social man. media, man. Like you know, so that the influence of that, they feel yeah. like they got to have certain material things to be valuable yeah. to mean something. And I think, but if they get the love at home, mm-hmm. that's all that, you know, that's the foundation. You know, I Definitely. had to talk that with, with my daughter, just telling her like, look, yeah. you don't need this to feel important. You know, yeah. Yeah. you don't need these things, you know? Um, and I had to you know get wrapped that around her little head that you don't need these things. And I think that, uh, like you said, the social influence of those things to make you feel validated. Mm-hmm. I think um, that it definitely starts at home with parents. Certainly, man. Plug in one more time where people can find you if uh, they want to sign up for a class, if they want to get some training, uh, get a consultation on buying a gun, all that good stuff. All right. Uh, You can reach me at Carolina Concealment on Facebook at CarolinaConcealmentCWP.com, or you can give me a call at 229-200-3010. Yeah, so y'all make sure y'all plug in with the brother, man. Get that CWP training, instruction, safety, consultations. You got the Juju range on the way. All that good stuff, man. We definitely appreciate you for coming by. You know, it's a hip-hop show, so I got to ask you a couple hip-hop questions got real it. quick. Well, well, just one hip-hop question. Gotcha. <laughs> Top five rappers dead or alive before we get out of here, man. All right, let's go. Um, My top five. I'm from my, my 90s, baby, so uh, I'm definitely going to say uh, I think it's forgotten now. I'm going to go with DMX. Mm, R.I.P. Uh, DMX. I'm going to go with uh, Jada Kiss. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, who we, of course, Jay Z. Mm, I like um, the list. I like the list. Yeah, man, like real I, spitters. Yeah, I'm gonna go, and I I try to. While I love hip hop, um, I love music, um, uh, with some substance. So, oh man, it's close. I probably gonna go J Cole. Mm, yeah, the new, the new. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. New generation. Yeah, man. And um, what's that? Three or four? I need one more. I need one more. One more. One more. Uh, let's go with uh, who I'm listening to now. Let me see this. Who I'm listening to now? Mm, new school. Yeah, Newcomer. man. I like little baby. Ah, okay. Like baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little baby like going off. Yeah, little baby. I That's like some of more, but yeah. yeah. He's getting better and better too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. I That's just hard. and That's sometimes. Hard. A lot of times we don't go to, uh, you know, uh, Chick Fil A because they got the best food. We go there because the best service and mm. when they, how did it make you feel? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And um, some of the artists I, I chose them because the way how they make you feel, man. That word, that's yeah. what's up, man. Yeah. I love it, man. Good list, man. Yeah. But thank you for coming by, man. Keep doing your thing, y'all. Tap in with the brother. Plug your website one more time for the people. www. CarolinaConcealmentCWP.com. All right, y'all. Another episode of Big Motion Podcast exclusive interview. Carolina Concealment in the building. The good brother Sam Summers. We out. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.